Let's go now back to meteorologist Jeff Berardelli. He's at our Miami station, CBS4, and he's got new information. Jeff, I heard you last hour say an historic storm that will live up to the hype. That certainly seems to be the case. Yeah, we are not hyping this system. In fact, if anything, it is getting stronger, and it's still purely a tropical system at its core, and that's something we did not expect. Hurricane Hunter's out there. It has now been upgraded to a 90-mile-an-hour storm from an 85-mile-an-hour storm earlier today. Last night, it was 75 miles an hour, so it's getting stronger and stronger as it moves over the very warm water. Pressure is now down to 943 millibars, located about 250 miles to the south-southeast of New York City. It's moving to the west-northwest at 18 miles an hour or so. It's expected to make landfall at really the worst possible time, which is early this evening. Your biggest concern, Jeff, at this hour is? My biggest concern is the storm surge potential with this and obviously the strong winds near the core. But again, with this making landfall, it really is a worst case scenario happening in the early evening because it's coinciding with high tide at around 8 or 9 p.m. in New York Harbor and also a full moon. So everything is coming together. Uh, really couldn't be worse timing than we have here. And all that water is going to be forced with the counterclockwise flow into the nooks, the crannies, the back bays. We're expecting a lot of flooding in places like Long Island Sound, Raritan Bay, and into New York Harbor as well. Again, the timing on this could not be worse. We are not hyping this storm. It's going to live up to its potential and then some. Scary news. Jeff Berardelli, thank you.